Hello Morgan, this is how to find some good resources on your research on um, communication conflict and friendship. So I'll show you what to do through the library website in order to get some good material. Go to academics, from there to the library. Click on this little drop-down and go to EBSCO Databases, go. You may have to log in if you're off campus. The, a login page will come up. I uh, skipped that. So now I'm on to Academic Search Complete, the first hit here. I'm clicking on that. And now I have a search engine. I'm going to put in Friendship. If I can spell it. Now you'll notice before I stop typing that a drop down menu automatically appears with friendships in college, friendship development, friendship quality, etc., friendship and mental health, even. And you can play with those combinations if you want, um, especially if you don't get something interesting on your first round of, of searching. I recommend you search a few different ways, see what comes up. Uh, and find what you're truly interested in. I don't know how many sources you have to use for this paper, but if it's multiple, then you can have fun looking for sources that collect around a theme. There might be something about friendship, conflict, and communication styles or strategies or something in a particular age group among uh, teenagers or young adults, for example. Anyway, let's do this. So, friendship, just plain old. Did that happen? Yes. And then, <laughs> conflict. And look, again, many variations. Um, for now, I'm going to do the simple search. And then we have friendship, conflict, and communication. Again, choices, but we'll leave it simple. Now we can select a field or leave it open. If we leave it open, we're going to get more hits. It might be a little more difficult to go through the whole list, but let's see. 101. So quite a few. We can narrow it down. There's nothing wrong with that, by the way. And the first hit is cyberbullying, conflict management, or just messing. Teenage girls' understandings and experiences of gender, friendship, and conflict on Facebook in an Irish second-level school. Um, it's very specific. could be very interesting, right? We're all human, so any study, even if it's of a specific group, is going to have interesting implications for all of us. That's my opinion, anyway. Um, but you could play with these fields and make this all subject terms, for example, meaning that when the study is listed on a search engine that these terms are put in there and if you search that way you'll get a narrower field probably 16 and if you see something that says PDF full text then you can click on that and you immediately have the article some other articles may be a little trickier to find and some you may have to request from the library and that can take a while for them to retrieve anywhere from one day to several weeks so Keep that in mind. Let's see if there's something else I wanted to show you here. I'm just having fun. <laughs> Don't want to have too much fun, but um, other other fields you might try. Title is very tight. I think um, I tried that earlier, and you would get no hits because to get all three terms in in the title of an article would be rare, and in this case, non-existent. Abstract is another way to go. Let's see what happens. That's probably going to be fewer, if any, uh, titles because abstract is very uh, specific about the content of the article, but 38. Oh, what do you know? Different kinds of hits, so that's interesting. And talk about an interesting first article. Interactions of Christians and Evangelists of Yad. Yazd with Muslims in the Qahar era. Okay. So you can really have a blast here. 
Uh, I think you get the idea, and I'm not scrolling down, but obviously when there are 38 hits, there are 38 in the list here. Educators, Intervention, Communication, and Peers, Conflict, and Nurseries. One thing I did want to check, since so many studies are quantitative, number crunching type studies, and they're okay, but not my most favorite, not the most interesting, I think. Um, we can go back to basic subject terms. It really doesn't matter, I guess. And add a field. What about autoethnography? Because you're writing a first paper for COM385, which is an autoethnography of sorts. <clears throat> and you might even use your own story then as data if you were uh, wanting to weave it into your paper. So let's see what happens here. Na nada. Yeah, we know about this. Thank you. Use smart search searching to find results based on my keywords. Aren't we doing that? I'm not sure what they're getting at with that pop-up. Okay, so <clears throat> we're on advanced search, yes. Okay, hmm, what if we just took out one of these? What if we made these a little looser, like um, all text? All text, all text. search. Ooh, 11. Yeah. Now, these these ought to be good. Navigating graduate education as a first generation Hmong American woman and autoethnography, solace in music and narrative reflecting, lingering traces of community trauma, sharing the stage, patriarchy, privilege and power, intimacies and bargains and ethnographic production, Silence and Memories of War, an autoethnographic exploration of family secrecy, what makes a MOOC community endure, multiple participant perspectives from diverse MOOCs, when a five wants to grow, using autoethnography to examine interchanges through the eyes of the Enneagram. What the hoodie? That sounds interesting. I'm hearing birds in the background. That's because we have a feeder. Crossing Paradigms, a meta-ethnography of a fieldwork trip to Brazil. Okay, this is pretty kind of... Wow, Dance and Sexuality, Many Moves. Okay, we're kind of far afield here, but how did that happen? Uh, every once in a while I hit a study that I'm really interested in, but that won't be useful for you. Okay, I think you've got enough to, to start with here. Um, you can, you know, also look at other... Approaches, friendship, conflict. What if we took this one out? Clear. Ooh, I cleared all of them. Okay, I think that's a sign that I need to stop here. Hopefully this will be helpful. Enjoy.